Hi Bow Bakers! So I get tons of requests from people living in dorms or with small kitchens for recipes made in a toaster oven. Now considering that my mug cakes and single serving cookies are such a success with you guys, I thought why not try a small batch of big and bold cupcakes that you can make in a toaster oven. So let's get baking. I have taken three of my absolute best over the top cakes and calculated a recipe to yield you just four big and bold cupcakes. Now of course this is a perfect size for a toaster oven but they can also be made in a regular oven for the same amount of time at the same temperature. Our first cupcake is one of my personal favourites, a classic red velvet cupcake with cream cheese frosting. In a small bowl with a sieve over it, we're going to measure out all of our dry ingredients. Our flour, sugar, cocoa powder, cinnamon, baking soda and salt. And then sieve these all together to get out any lumps. And also when you buy cocoa powder, I always buy unsweetened, it's good for your baking. Okay lovely, we've got our dry ingredients for our red velvet so we're going to move on to our wet ingredients. In a separate bowl add in your egg flavourless oil, buttermilk, vanilla extract and red food colouring and then whisk these all really well together. Buttermilk is a key ingredient in this cake so if you can't buy it in your country you can always make it and I put a recipe on how to do that along with the recipes for all of the cupcakes on biggerbolderbaking.com. Okay there you go lovely and whisk nice and smooth now we're going to add our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. Now I know I'm always saying this but you just want to gently mix this cake together you don't want to whisk it up too much it's a nice thick mix just bring it all together until there's no more flour lumps. And there you have it, a perfect small batch to make just enough cupcakes. So to bake off our cupcakes, I'm going to use this really nifty little tin that is actually made for toaster ovens. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below of where I got this. If you don't have one of these and do have a toaster oven, you can always buy the little silicone molds and put them on a baking tray and they will work just as well. Drop in a generous scoop of your red velvet cupcake into your tin. You can fill them almost all the way to the top, like maybe three quarters. And there you have it, the perfect small batch of cupcakes. So we're gonna pop this in our toaster oven now. You can also put it in your oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius. And depending on your toaster oven, it might take around 15 minutes, but after maybe 12, no matter where it is, keep a close eye on it. As you can see, our cupcakes are done. And in no time at all, that was great. The proof is in the cupcake that you can do great baking in a toaster oven. These turned out perfectly. Now I can't decorate them until they go totally cold, so I'm gonna set them aside. But if you want to make your cupcakes a day in advance, feel free to do so because they actually get better with time. They get really nice and moist and they relax. They'd be really good. To decorate your cupcake, pipe some cream cheese frosting inside. And then take your piping bag up and go all the way around. For some extra color, I like to sprinkle some red velvet crumbs on top. The red velvet cake is just definitely one of life's little pleasures. I just love it so much. But I have a lot more exciting recipes to show you, so let's move on to the next one. Our next small batch cupcakes require something that I'm a big fan of, and that is cookie dough. We are making chocolate chip cookie dough cupcakes. In a small bowl, add in your room temperature butter. Add in your sugar, and then with a hand whisk and a lot of elbow grease, we're going to cream these two ingredients together. Just cream it together until it looks like this. Now we're going to add our egg and vanilla extract. And then just like before with the butter, we're gonna cream them all together. Now to this, we're going to add in our flour and our baking powder. You just wanna mix it together until it forms a batter. So here is my secret ingredient, cookie dough. Now this is my edible cookie dough, but you can use any type of cookie dough you want because it will get baked in the toaster oven or in the oven. Add your cupcake liners to your tin and then pop in your cookie dough right in the middle. It's like a little surprise. And then just like with the red velvet, fill them all the way up. I usually am pretty generous, so I go around three quarters of the way up. Lovely, four more cupcakes ready for the toaster oven. Now, if you know somebody who is in college or in a dorm and would love toaster oven recipes, then please share this video with them. I tell you, I'm really loving the idea of these small batch cupcakes. Probably because I don't need to eat a whole batch of them because if they're in my house, I would. Our timer went off and I can see my cupcakes are done. The lovely golden brown on top and firm in the middle, which means they're perfectly cooked. To decorate my cookie dough cupcake, of course I have to put some of my edible cookie dough frosting on top. And whatever you do, do not be shy with this. And to make this cupcake really over the top, I'm going to finish it with a little mini cookie. Perfection. I'm excited to see the cookie dough in the middle. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. A big mound of cookie dough in the middle of a cupcake. I'm only supposed to try this cupcake because I'm saving room for the last one. 
Our next small batch of cupcakes is the kind of cupcake that you would see in the window of a bakery and probably never imagine that you could make it at home. It is an over the top s'mores cupcake. In a bowl with a sieve over it, we're going to add in our dry ingredients. Our flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And then sieve them all together so there's no lumps. So that's our dry ingredients. We're gonna go ahead with our wet. In a separate bowl, we're going to add in our egg, buttermilk, flavorless oil, vanilla extract, and some freshly brewed coffee. And then whisk them all together. Our next step is to add our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. And just like with the red velvet cake, you want to just gently bring it together. You'll see it start to turn a really dark color. This is hands down my favorite chocolate cake. It's the best recipe I've ever had. So to make our s'more cupcakes, I have some crushed graham crackers here. Now you know that I've used these before. If you don't have graham crackers, totally fine. You can use digestive biscuits, you can use a vanilla biscuit, rich tea biscuit, whatever is your preference. I like these guys because they're nice and sweet and they're kind of buttery, I love them. We're gonna take a spoonful of our cookie crumbs and line our cupcake liners. This chocolate cake doesn't actually rise very much, so you can fill your cupcake liners very generously. I pretty much go all the way to the top. Lovely. Now, I know we're missing a marshmallow, but we're gonna hold off until once they're baked to add on that guy. Now into the oven with these lovely chocolate cupcakes. I can't wait. I can smell that my cupcakes are done, so it's time to take them out. These little cakes take no time at all to cook. You can always tell because they're firm in the middle, you get little bubbles on top, and they actually go a little bit darker. While your cupcakes are still warm out of the oven, pop marshmallows on top, and then place them back in the oven under the broiler to toast the marshmallows and get them nice and gooey. Our marshmallows puffed up and they are lovely and toasted. And for the finishing touch, I'm going to pop a little graham cracker on top so you know it's a s'more. The reason I love this cupcake so much is just because it's not just a simple cupcake. It's a little bit more of an elevated, big and bold cupcake. It's got different layers, different textures. The middle is rich and the top is all sticky and gooey and delicious. This is my kind of cupcake. These are just three examples of my small batch cupcakes, but if you love them, you can always multiply out the recipe to make as many as you want. Let me know what other cupcakes or even recipes you'd like to see me try out in a toaster oven. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you back here every Thursday for more Bigger Bolder Baking.